For those who knew and loved Miss Sadie Roberts Joseph, they tell me nothing meant more to her than spreading the message about history and culture. Now they're calling on the same community to step up and speak out about her death. To embrace our history, to learn of our past, and to be able to move forward in unity. She not only spoke about unity, Sadie Roberts Joseph lived for it. Now her death is sending shockwaves not only in her hometown, but around the country. We can't put this to rest until we know what happened and why. Roberts Joseph was found dead Friday in the trunk of her car, three miles away from her home. Today, the East Baton Rouge coroner released his preliminary autopsy findings, saying she was suffocated. We are simply saying that there was some kind of mechanical obstruction of the airway. Pat McAllister LaDuff described her on Sadie as a soft-spoken but firm woman of affection. She was a sweet lady. I mean, she was good to people. She gave them whatever she could give them, and she helped them in any way she could help them and she did not deserve this. Roberts Joseph so, recently hosted the city's right. annual Juneteenth celebration. From her annual Juneteenth celebrations to her anti-drug and violence programs to the Odell Williams Now and Then African American History Museum she founded, Roberts Joseph touched countless lives, including State Representative Denise Marcel. And, uh, I was here when she started this garden, um, which is kind of eerie for me. Right now. She's calling on the community Roberts oh, Joseph adored so much to not just remember her legacy, but bring her justice. She was an advocate for uh, stopping the violence, and it's just sad that she had to die a death of violence. If you know something, say something. Enough is enough. Not just for Aunt Sadie, but for every family that's had somebody killed and they don't know what happened to them. Because stepping up and speaking out is what Roberts Joseph family says she would have wanted. In Baton Rouge, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. A historian definitely that will be missed here. Uh, Baton Rouge police aren't giving out many details right now, but they do tell us that they're thoroughly investigating this homicide. And they also tell us some of the evidence has been turned over to the state police crime lab. So if you know anything on this crime, give Baton Rouge police a call.